Water retention and its subsequent weight gain is a bothersome issue for most people, but particularly for women. Understanding water retention. Water or fluid retention is also referred to as edema. It occurs in the circuitry system and may cause bloating and swelling in the extremities such as the legs, feet, and ankles. People who lead extremely sedentary lifestyles with little exercise or those who are bedridden are susceptible to this condition. Edema can also be indicative of kidney disease or heart failure. So if you have a severe case of it or a severe sudden onset, get emergency medical care. For the non severe varieties that cause swelling, bloating, and discomfort, there is no understanding medical con- underlying medical condition. Making changes in your diet and exercise habits can help. Now, what does this all say? Water retention is referred to as edema. What it means is if you're not exercising, if you're not getting out there, if you're sitting around all day or laying around on the sofa and not doing any kind of exercise, you know, we recommend walking, going for walks, going out there and enjoying your life. If you're just laying around waiting for death to happen, you're going to have water retention. Why does water retention happen? When the body retains water, it means that there is extra water around in the tissues that lay between the cells in the body. There are several reasons why this could happen, including the following. Here's the great boogaboo that we've been trying to tell you for quite a while now, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates increase water retention. This is why bloating often occurs after a carb-heavy fat food meal and may wake up, and you may wake up, with an extra five pounds on the scale, all in water weight. You know, we fight this weight uh, getting on the scale. We hate the scale, but a lot of times it's not actually fat, but only water. Let's start with the carbohydrates. Every one gram of carbohydrates requires three to four grams of water in order to store and process it. In order to translate that into a familiar language, say you eat a medium, a medium potato, you get 37 grams of carbs, and which needs 110 to 150 grams of water. That's about five ounces, just follow uh, below a half a pound. On a moderately high carbohydrate diet, the average person will eat around one and a half pounds of water weight just from the carbohydrates in the diet. If you stop eating carbohydrates, you lose that pound right away. And this is what happens when everybody starts a diet, they lose a lot of weight in the beginning. Because what they're really losing is water. After that, they start losing muscle. High levels of salt in the diet is also responsible for excess retention of fluids. And if salt is present in every processed meal you eat, you'll retain even more fluids. That's why quite a while ago, uh, I stopped eating table salt. You can't avoid the salt that's in food, but at least you could avoid putting more salt on top of the wound. Sex hormones is especially true for women. Water retention gets more complicated for women. Most women will retain water during their menstrual cycle. In general, 92% of women will have water retention in the week before the menstrual period starts. Once menstrual bleeding actually begins, the water weight drops off once again. Some women will have persistent water retention, even after their period. During your period, there's a notable changes in your hormone levels, which lead to an increased amount of potassium and sodium in your system. So what is this saying to you? Cut down on the salt, Cut down on the carbohydrates and watch your menstrual cycle. Don't go crazy and heartbroken that you gain five pounds in a day. It could be your menstrual cycle and your hormones are causing the weight gain and water retention. Why does water retention happen? Cortisol. 
Chronically high levels of the stress hormone cortisol is a problem for many reasons, and water retention is one of them. It is difficult to say how much cortisol will increase water retention. It can also increase body fat so that the weight you gain from cortisol is probably both from fat and water. If you're stressed out and feeling puffy or bloated, some of that is probably from water. Your body is able to retain enough water to equal about 5 pounds per day, depending on the kind of food you take and the amount you consume. If you add up all those causes of water retention, you can easily gain, uh, get 10 pounds of fluctuation from just water. This is especially true for premenstrual women or for anyone who just ate a high carbohydrate dinner. Now, what are we trying to tell you? Stress, not getting enough sleep, not relaxing, not trying to get control of your, your nerves, and watching that scale every day, we won't recommend it. That's why we call it the Saturday morning diet. We want you to weigh yourself only once a week on Saturday morning so you can have the same uh, uh, time period every week and not get on that scale and get depressed that you gain five pounds which can be almost all water so this is why we call it the saturday morning diet once a week saturday morning is the only time you weigh yourself pms and water retention pms or premenstrual syndrome is a common cause for water retention in many women there have been no exhaustive studies that link water retention with premenstrual syndrome. However, lack of essential vitamins and minerals and added salt are triggers for the retention of water in some women. A British researcher suggested that low blood sugar during PMS could lead to water retention. She argues that blood, low blood glucose levels cause the body to retain water by releasing adrenaline. This signals the body to release more blood sugar. Once the glucose level leaves the body, the cells are then filled with water, leading to weight gain and bloating. Recognizing water retention. Water retention is marked by an increase in weight of about two to five pounds per day. This is a common sign of swelling, which is characterized by having a bloated abdomen. Sometimes your clothing can be too tight. Many women who have this problem complain of pain in the, in the swelling areas of their bodies, particularly the feet and ankles. So let's look at that again. You know, the, the blood sugar, which is, comes from carbohydrates, too many carbohydrates, the release of adrenaline, which comes from stress, too much sugar in your blood, and all these things lead you to gain two to five pounds in a day. So if you get on the scale every day and one day to the next you gain five pounds and you did everything right, well, this could be the answer. And that getting on the scale and getting five pounds could lead you to have an increase in adrenaline and cortisol and it's a vicious cycle. So we tell you, only weigh yourself once a week Saturday morning. Key steps in reducing water retention. A crucial step in dealing with water retention is to eat less salt and avoid processed and junk foods, which are high in salt. Read food labels and avoiding processed food products. Try putting the salt away so you won't be tempted to use it. The use of calcium supplements with your meals can lessen the risk of retaining fluid. Ironically, drinking water before you eat will help you keep down your fluids because the water will fill you up and you won't eat such much junk and also wash out that salt content. Increased magnesium intake. One study found that women who took 200 milligrams of magnesium every day have left retention during PMS and other studies have shown similar results. You can get magnesium naturally from whole grains, nuts, green vegetables, and dark chocolate. Now, we recommend nuts you take two ounces, put it in a jar, 
that only holds two ounces, walk away from the kitchen, walk away from the nuts, and sit down and enjoy your nuts one nut at a time, not a handful. We also recommend the dark chocolate. Not a lot of dark chocolate, but some dark chocolate. You might want to consider working out during your menstrual period to avoid water retention and weight gain. Exercise will increase the blood flow to your kidneys for excretion. Now, men, listen up. You don't have to be a, a, do 100 miles a day of bicycling or pick up 1,000 pounds of weights. You just have to walk. Men and women, go out and walk. If you can, go to Craigslist and there's thousands of free treadmills being given away by people that spend a lot of money and never use them. Make sure you retain hydrated throughout the day by drinking a lot of fluid. What did I just say before? Drink water before you eat and that will help you retain fluids. You know, we make a habit of having a at least half a gallon to a gallon of fluids a day. Other ways to reduce water retention include natural diuretics such as lemon water or grapefruit. It also helps to eat five to eight smaller meals throughout the day instead of three big meals. Now, there's a lot of issues about that. Five to eight smaller meals throughout the day instead of three big ones. Now, in the Saturday morning diet, we created the Joan Bars, and the Joan Bars is a meal plan that you create uh, a 100 calorie uh, meal, and you eat one every two hours, and at night you have a salad and protein. So that's the Saturday morning diet meal plan. So if you can have five to eight smaller meals throughout the day, cut out carbohydrates, eat more protein, Eat the nuts, eat cheese, eat pepperoni, have bacon and eggs in the morning. Cut out the sugar spikes and the salt retention and you will stop and control your water retention. We offer two wonderful programs to help you lose weight. The Power of Mindfulness for Weight Loss and the Keonetic Diet Discover the Low Carb Difference. It, uh, they're both available at SaturdayMorningDiet.com, Mindfulness for Weight Loss, and SaturdayMorningDiet.com, Kenogenic Diet Ebook. We also offer the Saturday Morning Diet Weight Loss E-Courses, the Bronze Package, the Silver Package, and the Gold Package, which should cover anybody's budget and help you finally win your struggles against weight. And get rid of that fat. Now you can learn how to get rid of that water retention. Because a lot of times it's bloating. Your ankles are bloated. And you can win this battle. Take your time. Go over to Saturday morning diet. Look around. And you're sure to find a good answer to your question. Now also you can go to joanbars.com on YouTube. We have 780 videos to help you understand what you can do and get control of your weight. See you in the next video. Please pass this on. Please subscribe and share. Bye-bye.